everybody got a review here of a 2023 ram 1500 crew cab the v6 engine this one is silver in color here's a look at the interior this is like i said 2023 this is a crew cab so you got the four doors the bigger back seat nice and big Got a lot of room back here compared to the quad cab. I had the quad cab before. There's still a nice vehicle, but if your kids get a little older, if you have kids, you want to get the crew cab, obviously. Crew cab, one nice thing about them, they have these storage down here. These are it's kind of neat, especially if you got you know toe straps, stuff like that, you want to put in there and then they're just out of sight, out of mind. This is the 6040 split bench got all your USB hookups for pretty much standard these days folds down in the back here cup holders a lot of room if you got two kids uh, still plenty of room if you have three back here but if you just have two kids in the back there's plenty of room plenty of room more than most cars even this particular truck has the i think these are the 20 inch rims you can usually get your ram trucks in 18 or 20 yeah these are 20. they come in 18 or 20. 20s usually look a little better it makes it set up a little bit higher this came with running boards on it Honestly, if I was gonna buy a brand new truck, I would just buy it with the running boards on it instead of going aftermarket, then you gotta put them on or have somebody else put them on. And the ones that come from the dealerships on, it's, to me, that's just smarter. That way you know they're fit for the truck. They're actually Ram brand, Mopar. That chrome bumper. This one has a slide-in bed liner. My last truck had a spray-in bed liner. I'm not real sure which I like better. I used to like the spray in better because the slide ins just were not very good quality. But nowadays they're a lot better quality. This Mopar, I mean, it's, I, I don't think I'm gonna have any issue with it. it I don't know. I'm just, it's, it, I haven't had one yet. The last truck had the spray in. I, I did really like it, but it was hard to drag things out of the truck if you reached up here and grab something you're like Ugh, trying to drag it across i don't know i think maybe stuff will slide a little bit i'm not sure i'll just have to see how it goes i'm not sure which i will like better uh one thing this truck does not have on it that my, my last truck was a 2021 it had your step that came down here this one does not have that that is pretty nice uh, there's just some features on you just gotta look at the trucks before you buy it and decide what features are important to you i did like that step but it is what it is. This this actually this is the big horn model. I mean, for anybody that knows anything about Ram trucks, you got obviously you got big horn. I think there's a Laramy, Rebel, TRX. There's several of them. I think the big horn's kind of in the middle. Uh, I think Tradesman is your lower, and then I think Laramy is the step up. One thing I like better about getting the big horn is I I know some a lot of people like the toolboxes that are on the. The real Rammies, they're built in toolboxes. I just think they look weird. I don't really like them. I don't, I mean, they're, I'm sure they're handy, but I just don't like the way they look. And the Laramies also have the, the weird looking tailgate. I just don't like that stuff. It's just my personal preference. I'm sure it's handy. I don't know, never had it, but I just don't like the way it looks. I like this, this more smooth look than all the cutouts for the boxes. This particular truck is the 1500 with the V6, so it does not say Hemi here. My last truck had the Hemi, was the V8. So it's, you gotta make a choice. You know, do you want power? Or do you want gas mileage? What do you want? You know, I drive a lot. I drive back and forth to work every day. So it, it gets expensive with the Hemi. So this truck ought to get a little better gas mileage, probably several miles to the gallon better. Okay, so I'll raise the hood here. I mean, it's a brand new truck. So there's, I mean, you're not gonna see anything wrong. I mean, I hope not, it's brand new, but. You, you can see the engine, it almost looks like, where's it at? <laughs> it's not, it's smaller than your V8's gonna fill this up more, but I mean, there's the engine. I mean, I don't know, it is what it is. It's a V6, it says V6, 3.6 liter. 
been around for a long time. I don't know what year they started putting these in. Okay. One thing I can say from people that I've talked to that have owned, have owned the, the V8s and the V6s, now this is just people to talk, just guys I've talked to, they say they have a lot less problems with the V6. I don't know. They, they, they said they've had a lot more issues, it's, which transmission, I guess it's the transmission, same transmission whether you get a V8 or V6, but some guys, I've heard of a lot of transmission issues in the V8s. Why it would be in the V8s, I don't know, because you're talking about a transmission, not the engine, but I have heard that a lot more trouble with the V8s. Okay, now I'm going to get in the driver's seat. I'm going to close the door here, and I will start the truck up. And this is something different that I have not seen. I'm going to start it up. Key fob obviously has to be in the truck for it to start. This is something different I'm going to show you guys because if you own a Ram truck or if you're thinking about getting a new one, this with the bigger screen, I, I don't work for Ram so I don't I don't know all the differences but this this particular screen here has navigation built in from the factory. So, you come down here to your navigation button. So you got navigation on your screen without having to use your phone or a aftermarket device. This comes from the factory with navigation on it. That was one of the things I, I thought would be neat to have in this truck. It's kind of like what a, why I picked this particular truck. I don't, I can't honestly tell you the price difference. I'm sure it's a couple thousand dollars, but trucks are so expensive these days once you spend so much you might as well get what you want in my opinion uh, this is a huge screen I mean you can see you know in the video of my hand you can see how big this is uh, it's a lot more user friendly than what I had before in the I had a 2021 your screen was maybe half the size or less uh, your buttons were a lot different this it's a little more user friendly it's, you can you see everything without have to search for it I don't know it looks a lot nicer uh, I haven't really used all this yet but it's nice to be able to you know search for something put in an address up here as opposed to trying to drive down the road with your phone in your hand or laying your phone up here or getting an aftermarket that sits on the dash that falls over or it's, it's just nice to just have it built into the truck I mean like I say is it worth the money I don't it depends on your opinion that's your own but uh, I'll put this back in park here. Okay, I wasn't sure what the screen would do when I went to park, so. so it's, there's when you, okay, so. When you go to your home screen, see you still have your navigation up here. This is what's nice. Navigation up here. So that's about the size of what I had before is just this. And now you still have your radio and your other stuff down here. So if say your passenger wants to search for something to listen to on the radio they can do that and not interrupt you still have your navigation up here that's that's pretty nice and so it, it is pretty nice I, I haven't really used it enough yet to know all the features to be able to tell you everything I've only, there's only 143 miles on the truck so I mean I can't really tell you if I'm gonna love it or if it's gonna have some issues but so far I do really like it I drove it home from the dealership which is an hour and a half away so probably 100 miles of that's for driving home from the dealership on the interstate so i didn't really use it because i'm on the interstate but it's it's still a, I, I think i'm really gonna like it uh, as far as this particular truck has the alpine stereo now i don't know what the other ones i don't know there's some of them have the alpine some of them do not have alpine they have a lower level radio and i can tell you the radio does sound it has a good quality sound in this truck once again you're gonna spend a little more money on it uh it's all about what you want. Your storage is going to be the same as the rest of your Ram trucks. I think they started this in like 2019 with this configuration, and I'll call it. I mean, it's there's there's a lot of room here. I, I you can either get these trucks like this or with the bench seat, and this would be here would raise up, and you can have three people in the front some people like that better some people have more kids you know or have dogs that go in the truck with them or it, it, some, it just depends on what you want I, per I personally like the bucket seats these bucket seats are super comfortable 
uh, you know, and I drive a lot back and forth to work, like I say, so I, I do a lot of grabbing fast food, stuff like that, so I got room for all that. You know, there's there's a lot of room here. You know, if you go with the truck that has seats three people in the front, you're going to lose a lot of this storage room, So, but you can have a third passenger, so it's just about what you want. Uh, I'll try to open all this up so you can see. I mean, it's... I don't know. You, you go look at other trucks, Ford, Chevy, GMC. They're all nice. They're all nice these days. I mean, you just got to decide what you like for yourself. I think they're all pretty much dependable now. All They're all pretty nice. They're all expensive. Uh, a few thousand dollars this way, a few thousand dollars that way. They cost almost the exact same. You do find one that's a little cheaper. It's usually because of the features that it has. Uh, it, it, it's not going to be because it's a cheaper truck. They're all expensive. I mean, you, if you need a truck like I do, you know, you you got to get you got to get what you can afford, obviously. But they're all about the same as far. I mean, one thing I don't know that I've seen on a I, I could be wrong. I don't think I've seen this on a Chevy or Ford. Now I don't know. I could be wrong about that. So if somebody could correct me. I don't remember seeing them. This has the what I'm going to call a dual glove box. I don't know if that's what they call it. Uh, got quite a bit of room you know like this has got the book for the stereo in there like I, said, I haven't even opened it yet uh, so you can see there's, there's quite a bit of room in there and then you still have your glow box you know for your for your papers for your information so I, I don't know if Ford or Chevy GMC I don't know if any of those have it dual glove box they could maybe I just didn't didn't see it I haven't looked real close uh, these, this truck came with the uh, Mopar uh, floor mats, yes, floor mats that snap in. Uh, not all of your Ram trucks are going to have these in them. That's something that I personally really like. These are all weather mats. If you live in an area with snow, even if it's just a little snow in the winter times, I definitely suggest getting these floor mats, especially if you got kids. Kids will not kick the snow off their shoes. They get in the truck. You got all that water there, especially if you're somebody that's going to keep your truck for a long time. That water gets in the carpet, and the next thing you know, you got issues. With these, it just sits right there. Snap it out. Snaps out so easy, you don't even spill it. You can fold it in half and just dump it right out on the ground. Shake it out real good. If, if you're at a car wash, you can go ahead and wash it or whatever. I mean, it's so nice. Those, those are super nice thing to have, I think, if you, especially if you live somewhere where there's snow. They snap in so they don't slide around. That can really, really be handy for cleaning the truck out. All right, a little more here. I'll kind of do this area up here. This, like I say, vehicles these days, y'all got kind of your basic stuff. So sunglasses go up here. Uh, this button, this truck has two buttons here that I am not familiar with, so. I'm going to point them out to you. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sure they're great to have, but I did not even see these when I bought the truck. Here's an, a blue assist button. I'm, I'm, you know, I don't really know exactly what to do with this button because I, I did not read the book and I didn't know what I, know it was there. My last truck did not have that. I had a 2021 before, like I say, it did not have this assist button. There's an SOS button over here. You know, I know an SOS button means help, and the button is red. So I'm not going to push this because I don't need any help. I do not know what's going to happen when you push this button. I have not read in the book yet, so I'm not sure. Uh, this truck here has you got your you know your lights for here, here, okay, and then this has the rear back glass, you know, sliding back glass. You are someone that has kids or pets that are going to be riding in the back seat, I definitely suggest the sliding back glass so they have a little more fresh air back there. You know, especially if you're on a long trip, open that all the way up, just get some fresh air going back there. Uh, like I say, there's a lot of room in here. You can see your speakers up here. This, like I say, the stereo is, is really nice. I mean, it, 
it's nicer than I really need. But it's one of those things. It's not why I bought the truck. Some people that's very important to them. So I mean, I will tell you if you're somebody that really likes your music, the Alpine stereo with these speakers and the speakers in the ceiling in the front up here. I guess you can see my hand here. These small speakers really make it sound good. It's a, it's really a well sounding. The the cat. The one thing I will say with it makes me like Ram trucks the best these days. And I'm not going to say Ford's not good, Chevy, GMC, they're all nice. But the interior of the Ram trucks, if you give it a chance, they, they're nice. They're, they're super comfortable, super functional. They're, they're, just, they're just nice. I mean, it's nicer than most, most of, uh, vehicles you're going to ride in as, you know, as far as a work vehicle goes, especially. You know, uh, it's just a lot of room. It's just comfortable. Okay, I'm going to close all the doors. I'm going to drive this truck around a little bit in the parking lot back and forth, kind of turn a little bit so you get some different angles of it so you can kind of see it. I mean, I, I know you see them all over on dealer lots, but who knows? Maybe it'll help you, you know, decide if you want to go look at one or not without the pressure of having a salesman try to sell you a truck that's super expensive because they are expensive. I and mean, once you get to that dealership, they're going to try to sell you more than what you can afford. So, Maybe this will help somebody, you know, get an idea of what they want before they go look at a dealership. So I'll drive it around a little bit and maybe you can look at it from all angles and I don't know, maybe that'll help out. That's pretty much about all I can say. Uh, so far, you know, the truck's great. I mean, it's 143 miles. That's not much. So I can't really say long term. There's things I'll like, the things I dislike. Uh, I will say if you're trying to choose, you know, between a V8 and a V6 in the Ram truck, I, if you're, you might be hesitant to get a V6 like I was because you're thinking, you know, especially if you pull a trailer. If you have any, I don't know, tractors or livestock trailers or any, you know, if you mow yards, anything like that, where you're pulling a trailer, you might be kind of hesitant, like you think you need the power. So far, I've only pulled my trailer once. I have an 18-foot trailer, all my mowers. I have no problem with it. I mean, obviously, there's going to be a difference between the V8 and the V6. I mean, it's like 90 horsepower difference. When you push on the gas pedal, there is going to be a difference. You know, you gotta you got to watch pulling out in front of people. If you're used to a V8, you know, you gotta, you gotta go. But it's not that big of a difference. Your gas mileage, uh, the little bit I've drove it, I can tell you, I've been in, in town and on the interstate both. So I'm averaging on my screen here, 16.6 .6 miles per gallon average. Now, I think 43 of these miles, I think if I remember right, are in town. The other 100 was on the interstate. So, I mean, that is what it is. I know my other truck was a V8. And it would have probably averaged right now about 12.6. So I'm thinking, you know, if you're driving sensibly, it's about a four or five mile per gallon difference better with the V6. You sacrifice the power, but you will get the better gas mileage. I personally, I, I'm driving 17,000 miles a year, maybe a little more. So I, I'm kind of feeling it with the gas prices. So that's why I got the V6 about all i can really say it's it's a nice truck okay that pretty much sums up my review hope hope it helps i mean i don't know it's everybody everybody does these reviews you know i mean i'm not gonna say i'm any better or any worse than anybody else at it but thanks for watching i uh, hope it helps somebody out there decide you know what truck they want compare it to other trucks ram you know ford chevy all that good stuff so thanks for watching